What's up guys? AK with DCC train. This is lifelike original before Walters, I believe, require, uh, acquire them. 2004 year of production, something like that. Uh, the day of purchase, I know uh, it's 2005 from local shop. So my local customer. Here we go. Um, QSI decoders, they were great. Um, as I said in intro, you're getting DCC sound in 2004, which is awesome, <laughs> you know. Uh, ESU just brought their decoders at that time. Um, I believe it was 2005, they came to Cincinnati. Anyway, so cleaning using original speakers looks like if I don't like how they are working with ESU decoder, I'm swapping them. Um, couple of flows, those clips is just not good, you know, they will oxidize and the contact will be not good or maybe even no contact. Um, so here we go, let's do it. This is volume control. It's built very well, so Walters uh, keep doing great job, so very nice. Uh, not sure about this plug, I'll keep it. Yeah, those decoders just quitting. Resetting is not going to help, um, just old technology. Here we go. Those videos, uh, I'm if I make some uh, uh, kind of pausing, I will edit this, but you will watch the whole process. There you go. Alright. Shouldn't take long. I hope I will do in two parts. So second part will be maybe third part will be full assembly okay so take this i like that idea number boards but again they look like <laughs> new led uh, uh, lights in new newer cars <laughs> kind of blue and this is from what 50s <laughs> no way I don't think so. It was halogen technology around this time. I'm going to actually, ooh, tape. Well, don't like that tape. It's a mess. Captain tape. Need to use Captain tape. So I'm keeping the plug. Captain tape. That's what we're using. Um, let's see if I can yank it easy. Uh, just cut here and then I will clean those holes and use my wiring. Okay, that's speaker and just, yeah, those days only one output. Remember the QSI, the Titans? I don't know why, it, it was good, it just didn't work. They were a little bit late and like in production and then means a bunch of manufacturers switch to soundtracks and um, ESU and then it just didn't pick up yeah those I see it's a very interesting approach huh very interesting approach 
just need a tiny, tiny flat. Here we go. Yeah, they have like board here. Wow, though with those f clips or whatever those plastic things. If the the wire not tinted, it will be worse. It will oxidize. I think I break it. Yeah, whatever. Um, it it will be. Oh wow, it will be oxidized very fast. So just cut it here. Don't need that. Again, I'm going to use my wires. They. That's nice. It's. Uh, color coded black and red um, usually pickups in DCC world and I believe after function uh, output green and then it start kind of this major disynchroniza synchronization because um, I believe Digitrax using violet uh, color for second output most of the manufacturers like on the plugs but soundtracks for example using violet for speaker output so and then yes yeah, so you need to watch if you just start it you need to really really watch oh okay oh that's uh, that's not a problem again <laughs> uh, yellow and black that's motor connection yeah <laughs> yellow supposed to be rear light and blue supposed to be common <laughs> here you go so that's it look it's it's a lot every element here potential failure yeah but again it's a uh, beginning of DCC era well let's uh, quick it's interesting construction I didn't do much of them um, like those guys I usually did DCC kind of ready at really 2000 something models Okay, let's uh, check those speakers real quick. I just want to see how the m motor contact, how they solder a motor, uh, wires to the motor. Oopsie. Mm -hmm. And I want to check the speaker as well just vir visually okay uh -huh, so it's just a cover okay makes sense mm -hmm. so the motor I believe it's standard operating procedure so it sits interesting okay let's put it back did they secure it oh maybe it just sits Oh, yep, that's what I thought. Ah, yeah, so we need to get into it. Yeah, let's take them out. Those two screws. A little bit changed design, which is good. In older model models, they they the ready for DCC. They just um, put the board with eight pin plug. I don't remember. Maybe GST. GST 9 pin plug like opposite to 8 pin right so it's like female and uh, GST has uh, 9 so it's two out, uh, two additional functions outputs okay take this out very nice Okay, what they did, yeah, in parallel, seriously, 8 ohms, or, c oh, 
hold on oh nice nice rubbery rubbery rings oh very nice love it i'm usually putting micro crystal clear that makes like very good contact also some cushion all right let's look still don't understand what they did in the series yeah so they those speakers in the series so i need a Just one going here and there. Yes, in series 16 ohms, which is, um, we'll see. Okay. After checking what's going on, oh, a little bit easy to unscrew. I will use Loctite for those um, screws. Definitely will help. We'll see how wiring done to the motor usually um, pickups good usually no issues okay kind of open frame motor balanced that's very really nice contacts good and actually I don't want to confuse myself. Uh, just unsolder those guys. And yeah, this is transition from um, reminds me like Athern blue boxes, but it's five pole motor means it's open frame, not big deal. And nice holes here for uh, airflow very nice love it okay I'd like to keep those videos like under 20 25 minutes maximum 30 so we have a little bit more time to complete this uh, this mission <laughs> mission possible okay <laughs> oh, I need a little bit juice more juice more juice my regular temperature is uh, 520 Fahrenheit I'm putting 610 because all that stuff uh, theoretically you be careful uh, you can yank this um, uh, contact actually it's holding brush but I try my best, like, make very fast soldering. Oh, so because it's uh, in the plastic, kind of holding clip. Yeah, those wires, no good. Will be confusion. Oh. Always put flux. This is Kester 186 military grade don't need um clean after that okay nice uh i don't know what's the direction we'll find out because again make make no sense um the the colors of those uh to find out direction before because i, I can put on both uh, sides you know just some neutral or black wire then check it every after that but I will do it from from the beginning so I have a, a lock pilot decoder 8 pin plug everything insulated here just in case if it hits something it will be uh, short if it's sound decoder you accidentally shorting um, speaker output uh, will destroy decoder it will still working if you resetting it but uh, sound will be done no more sound okay here we go then this is my 
I'm just, I need to touch it like that, Chook, and that's it. So if it moves forward, then, or backwards, we'll determine. So I'm taking my digital system, address three, and few steps forward, probably keep it six or seven. Depends again on the, the motor and all that stuff. Let's see. Oh, oh, it's moving. So that was orange. If it's bad contact, better solder it. So it should be moving forward. Now. Yep, that's it. So this is orange. And uh, I'm shutting my system down. And for this, uh, to mark it, I'll use... Usually I'm using those metallic um, markers. So that's my plus. Done. All right, guys. Uh, that will be all for today. Thanks for watching, supporting business. If you'd like to support channel, please join membership. Have a good one. Bye-bye.